Today we will continue with Spring Data JDBC. We are creating a CRUD API with a one-to-many relationship. We start in Eclipse with the entity classes. First we have the owner record with associated address. Between owner and address we have a one-to-one -one relationship. We discussed this in the previous video. Second we have the to-do record with associated comment record. Between to-do and comment we have a one-to-many relationship. Third we have another one-to-many relationship between owner and to-do. First we are going to look at a browser window for the result. In the first window we have the owner with ID 1 and the corresponding address. In the second window the to-do with ID 1 with associated comments and owner. The first thing to discuss is making a to-do. To create a to-do easily we created a to-do create record. With all the fields we need to create a new to-do. Owner ID. Title. And content. All other fields are completed in the to-do service class. In the to-do controller we have a post endpoint to create a to-do. We have a request body annotation to send the to-do create data along with the request. And pass all the data along to the to-do service class. In the service class we build a new to-do to store it in the database. ID is null. Title and content are taken from the to-do create. Published on is the date and time. Updated on is null. The owner is an aggregate reference of owner ID from the to-do create. And the comment are null. Finally we do a save from the to-do repository. We can now move on to Insomnia to test the create to-do request. First we load the to-do list. As you can see it is now empty. Then we create a new to-do. With owner ID 1. Title to-do 1. And content this is to-do 1. If we send this request we will see the result. We can now return to the browser window to load the list of to-dos. And we see the to-do we just created with all the data. The next step of our CRUD API is to create comments. To do this easily we have an add comment method in the to-do entity. The next step is a comment update record. For an update we need the ID, name, and content. In the to-do controller we have a post request to-do add comment. Here we have the to-do ID as path variable and a comment update is request body and pass everything to the to-do service class. In the service class we first load the to-do by ID. And then we build a new comment with Name Content Published on Updated on Then we use the add comment from the to-do entity class and save everything to the database. We can now test everything in Insomnia. First we load the to-dos. We have one to-do with ID 32. We are going to save two comments to the to-do with ID 32. Comment 1 and Comment 2. If we go back to the browser window we see the to-do with ID 32 and the two new comments. The next step of the CRUD API is update a to-do. We created a to-do update record to make everything easy to configure. We have ID Owner ID Title, Content, and a set of comments. In the to-do controller we have a put request update to-do. Where we pass the to-do update to the to-do service class. In the to-do service class we have the to-do update method. First we load the old to-do by ID. Then we build the new to-do. By ID. Title. Content. Published on. Updated on. Owner with the aggregate reference. And the comments list. We save everything to the database. Now we can go to Insomnia to test everything. First we load the list of to-dos. 
we have one to do with ID32. As you can see we modified the to do and we can now send the put request and view the result. Now if we go to the browser window we can load the to do again and view the updates. The last step in the CRUD API is delete. To do a delete in the to do controller we only need the ID of the to do. With the delete request we can delete a to do. Also the method in the to do service class is simple. We just need the delete by ID of the to-do repository. In Insomnia we first load the list of to-dos. We have one to-do with ID 32. We can now send the delete request to delete to-do with ID 32. If we now return to the browser window we see that the list of to-dos is empty. This was it for this video. Thanks for following.